Hello, beautiful person. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am the Lazy Natural Listener, and I'm here again to help you in your hair care journey to make it simple and easy. So, most people want a long and luxurious hair, just like Rapunzel. Well, unfortunately, most of us have damaged, brittle, um, dry hair. Some of us have grey or white, or even short hair. Most times, some people meet me and say, My hair isn't growing. My hair has not been growing. Um, my hair is not equal length. Talk of my hair is not growing. A lot of a lot of things I hear people say about their hair. It's my hair isn't growing. My hair isn't growing. My hair isn't growing. Most people find out that their hair stops growing after some certain point, or it reaches a stage and it looks like it's thinning, like they're having hair loss, or like it's reducing. It's like it doesn't pass a certain length. Like there's some area that. They are losing hair you get or well, one side is growing more than the other so you might notice that the hair has stopped growing or the hair of someone close to you has stopped growing or the hair has begun to thin or the hair has begun to lose volume although this happens with age it could point to a serious underlying medical treatment it is very important to know the different cause of hair loss to ensure that you treat it on time poor lifestyle choices pollution stress and imbalanced diet are the major reasons why your hair stops growing continue this video with me and i'm about to make you understand the changes you need to make for you to get healthy tresses so guys the first question will be how much does hair grow in a year each person's hair is particularly programmed to stop growing after reaching a particular length after which it goes through the cartogen telogen and exogen phase before growing again an average person's hair grows at a rate of six inches per year and usually the anagen phase which is known as the growing phase lasts between two to six years however different people have different hair growth cycles that are affected by many factors that i will be discussing us to the big question why won't my hair grow or why won't your hair grow your hair follicles go through a growth cycle that has four phases. One, the energy phase, which is, I already told you before, that is the growing phase. The second phase is the cartogen phase, transition phase. The third is telogen phase, which is the resting phase. The fourth is estrogen phase, which is the hair shedding phase. Each hair follicle goes through the cycle, which determines the length and volume of a person's stresses. If the cycle is disrupted due to any factor normal hair growth is affected following are the most common reasons your hair stops growing so the first common reason why your hair isn't growing is genetics do you know that the length color volume and strength of your locks is governed by your gene yes genes play a significant role in influencing your hair growth cycle so if you have a thick, lustrous, fine, lovely hair or long hair and you're not taking care of your hair, you're not putting much effort in it, then you should take your gene because otherwise if you are like me, if you are unlucky like me, then you need to put in that extra effort to stop your hair from thinning and to enhance your hair growth. The second point which I have here is hairstyles and styling products. The chemical treatment products and processes used to style your hair have a big impact on its health and growth. Build up of oils and products on your scalp can block the follicles and hinder hair growth. Complicated hairstyle that involves a lot of combing, tight hairstyles and serums can also lead to hair damage. Excessive styling and use of chemical products will not only stop hair growth, but can also cause scalp diseases that can lead to permanent hair loss. Another reason why your hair isn't growing is an is poor hair care regimen. See, an improper hair care regimen can have a major negative impact on your hair growth. Excessive styling, inadequate um, shampooing and conditioning your hair properly, use of chemical products inefficient hair care tools and hair damaging accessories indicate a substandard hair which needs to be changed as soon as possible if you want a thick 
long and healthy hair. The first reason as to why your hair might not be growing is age. Age does not only cause your hair to grey, but it also affects your hair growth because of the energy phase that's known to get shorter as you grow older. Also, your physical health and your food habits also affect your hair growth cycle. And this is actually besides your lighting of experiment with excessive styling, with um, dyeing, bleaching, use of chemical products, whatever, treating your hair. The fifth common reason why your hair is not growing is due to thyroid problems. Due to thyroid problems. Irregularities in the production of hormones by your thyroid gland can also have a negative effect on your hair growth. Both thyroidism, sorry, both hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism can affect hair growth as they affect your body's metabolism and functionality, thereby causing hair fall and hair thinning. Next point is stress. It is medically proven that any kind of psychological or physical stress can be detrimental to hair growth because stress triggers a condition called telogen equilibrium in which your hair enters a telogen phase known as resting phase prematurely, thereby restricting 30% of your hair growth completely. Though this condition does not require any medical treatment and lasts longer than six months, it does affect your hair growth. And cause hair loss. To the seventh point, we have lack of exercise and healthy diet. Um, I'm very sure you must have heard of the phrase you are what to eat. A healthy diet and exercise routine are very important for hair growth. Just like your body, your hair also requires adequate vitamins, minerals, and nutrients to grow. In fact, doctors suggest people take certain multivitamins in addition to a certain diet to boost hair growth deficiencies of iron protein zinc vitamin a or biotin can weaken your hair subjecting it to damage and loss to the next point we have hair breakage normally an average person's hair grows at a rate of about six inches per year if you observe that your hair is the same length even after a certain period it might actually be breaking Hair breakage can be caused by both inadequate or excessive care. Over processing and heat styling your hair excessively may result in the loss of moisture and elasticity, causing it to become dry and break to and lead to breakage. The ninth reason, the number nine reason why your hair might not be growing is split ends. Who with dry hair usually have split ends. If your hair does not receive enough treatment, it will start to split, start splitting, which will result to hair breakage. You cannot undo split ends, and the only way to stop them from causing further hair breakage is to cut them off. You must take adequate care of your hair to avoid split ends and breakage. The tenth reason why your hair is not growing is alopecia areata. Alopecia areata is an autoimmune disorder in which the immune system harms the cells in your hair follicles and causes your hair to fall out in patches. Scientists believe that this condition might be genetically inherited and people diagnosed with hair fever, vitiligo, Down syndrome, pernicious anemia, asthma, and thyroid issues have a higher rate of developing it. However, proper medication and phototherapy can treat this condition. Another one is dry scalp and hair. Dry scalp and brittle tresses are signs of unhealthy hair. Lack of moisture or imbalance in the moisture levels of your scalp makes your hair dry, leading to breakage and resisting its growth. The last but not the least is childbirth and breastfeeding. Hormone imbalances after childbirth often result in what is known as postpartum hair loss. A healthy diet, regular exercise, and intake of additional nutritional supplements are necessary to minimize postpartum hair loss. Okay, so that's all for the possible common reasons why your hair is not growing. But the next question you may want to ask me was, what can be done if your hair is not growing? Okay, so once you, once you realize your hair is not growing, then there, you need to you need to take proper care of your hair to minimize hair loss and damage. Once you figure out the reason for your reduced hair growth, you can try out various ways to prevent excess hair fall. A proper healthcare routine, 
I repeat that if and regular exercise is to keep your body and mind healthy, following the prescribed medication for the treatment of complicated head issues, avoid overstyling your hair and replacing chemical products with natural and environment friendly ones. Are some ways to maintain hair and protect it from further hair damage and loss. Be reminded that on average, your hair grows six inches per year due to the disruption of the hair growth cycle. Your hair may stop growing. Multiple factors such as genetics, stress, age, poor diet, or aggressive hair styling can lead to hair loss. It may also be a sign of an underlying medical condition. A balanced diet, physical exercise, a proper hair care routine, and Amos Glow products can protect you from further damage. However, if you continue experiencing severe hair for consult your doctor for proper diagnosis and further treatment. So guys, we've come to the end of this video on the reasons on why your hair is not growing. And now you know what to do if you figure out your hair is not growing, you want your hair to grow. Do the right thing and i'm very sure you will think later please like this video if you find it useful comment on the video ask any question at all give any suggestion i'm open to everything um subscribe if you haven't subscribed please it means a lot to me share this video please thank you so much see you next time same place same channel bye